Hello everyone, today let us use a script now to create a project and uh, I want to create this uh, video and not just uh, this video to create a project but uh, series of videos uh, where you can use a script now uh, of course on server to create uh, not only project but also custom fields or other configurations and the reason I am creating this uh, uh, this this video is uh, because I want to show you and I also want to share how uh, you can use a script runner to use Jira Java APIs for uh, automating things that will help you in maybe let us say onboarding maybe you want to create a project in Jira not from the Jira UI but maybe you have your own system where you are asking people to select the project for example, project type and, uh, and, and enter name of the project or whatever whatever necessary information you need from them and they can submit a request and when you receive a request you can then uh, take a look at the details, uh, approve it, do whatever you want to do with the request and the project is created for them without your intervention. So basically we'll use the APIs uh, for contacting uh, the uh, we'll use the Jira Java APIs for doing that and um, I want to of course uh, you know give you not only the script um, I mean if you search online you will find a lot of scripts but I want to actually, uh, actually also explain you the process because uh, if you are trying to use a script now for Jira I think uh, it is important to understand that uh, how you can also un read the Java APIs. Let me just check if I'm recording. Uh, yeah, I'm recording. So good news. So let us uh, take a look at uh, this uh, uh, this API uh, where, by the way, we will, we will be using something called as a project service, which is a way, which is one of the class to create a project. And uh, with the help of this uh, create project method in the project service, uh, you can of course create a project but we are not directly creating a project we are basically first checking whether this project based on the details uh, you get can be created or not and that is why if you look at this uh, method here it is using uh, project service dot create project validation result so basically we'll first check whether this project can be created or not using uh, create project validation result and uh, and of course, uh, uh, you you can read here on the page. It says uh, using the validation result from validate create project, where you can pass uh, two arguments, application user, which is which we know, which we have been doing, and also project creation data. So this project creation data is uh, is uh, something that you can build using using a builder, and I'll show you how to do that. And to be honest, if you're new to you know these things, uh, even if you just copy and paste these uh, lines. Uh, from the document from the API and paste it in the in, in your IntelliJ and make sure of course you know it makes sense uh, by declaring a variable wherever needed um, you, you can do that and of course do error checks to uh, you know if, if there is an error thrown catch the error and uh, make sure your execution your code execution is not really breaking and uh, let us take a look at validate create project now if you look at the validate create project, uh, basically uh, here you can pass in two things: application user and the project creation data. And if you click, and by the way, these are all, all links. So if you click on these links, you will be taken to different pages where you can read about it. Now, the important part is the project creation data, where you can uh, define what you want to create. And if you look at this project creation data, it says on the very top holds the information required to create a project. To create instance of this class, so I'm not really going to talk about you know what, what a class is uh, uh, and uh, what is an instance of a class. Uh, so I'm assuming that you know what, what, you you have some background about object-oriented programming, inheritance, polymorphism. Go back to your you know semester one classes. So uh, I remember our computer teacher in our first semester, second semester used to teach us these things. So when we when we started learning programming, I think it was more than 20 years ago. Um, when I started, I mean, I, I, I have been doing coding, something with coding uh, for 
many years. In fact, when I was roughly 10 years old, I remember going to the computer class, uh, to, to, to the computer room and uh, doing something with uh, computers, making small programs. But it was only when I started doing uh, engineering. I, I had biology. So I, when I was in school, in, in India we have 11th and 12th standard. So if you are a medical student, if you have biology, you don't really learn uh, programming. Uh, but because I chose to do engineering and when I when I started doing engineering in the first year, we started with C. So we didn't learn anything about uh, object-oriented programming. But when we learned C++, then uh, we got the opportunity to learn uh, polymorphism. And, 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 and I remember our teacher, um, he explained us in a very nice way uh, and uh, gave us a lot of examples to to make us understand what exactly is uh, object oriented programming that was in 1999 long time back so um coming back so you have to basically it says so i'm trying to give you an idea like what all you need uh to basically understand what is written here so you need to know what is a class you need to know what is what is an instance and uh, it says to create instance of this class use project creation data dot builder and if we then go to a different page i mean i'm just clicking on the links here you can see project creation data dot builder and uh, there is a constructor so you need to know what a con constructor is a constructor is so basically using this constructor uh, here builder you can then uh, define your data like uh, uh, you, you can either build it from scratch or you can use existing existing project if you want to but uh, you have the option to define your signy type your avatar id if you are using avatars or maybe it will use default description key lead name and uh, so so many other things that that might be uh, uh, useful um, and i'll show you the code now and uh, if I show you the code, I'll of course be not, I, I'm not really doing anything different apart from just copying and pasting those uh, those uh, methods from the API documentation. So the thing that I was talking about is, uh, so the actual project creation hap is happening here uh, using project service dot create project with the create project validation result. Now this create project validation result is basically the same thing where uh, you are checking based on the login user and the project creation data so when you when you're using this uh, create project validation result you will get a response and i'll show you how, how it looks like you know I'll, I'll print it for you so that you can also see and uh, and when you're looking at the response you can then uh, see if there is an error or not also if uh, if uh, I'm basically going back <laughs> in the code from this line. So I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to explain this code. Um, and if you look at the project creation data, this is where you need to use that builder. So if you go again on top, I'm using this uh, project creation data dot builder. And uh, remember those uh, different, uh, so, so basically we are constructing this data and uh, with name, with key, and uh, you can of course use a different variable like maybe i want to create a project with key called legal with name business core whatever and description url so so my, i mean some something like i know these things basically uh, that will of course help you um to understand what is the purpose and if you if you look at the type this is also important you have to tell this type uh, you have business you have service test and you also have software which is quite obvious but if you search online or if you're using let us IntelliJ you can just click on like press control or command on your Mac for example click on the if you're connect if you have your IntelliJ connected to your source code and uh, you can then browse the Java APIs as well so if you if you if, if, if you remember these uh, pages that I showed you starting from the project service the code is nothing but copy or pasting I'm just copying and pasting the lines and of course I'm just making sure that I'm using my own data like the key name description etc that i want to use and uh, if you are looking at uh, let us say let us run this first so if i run this and i'm not really creating an, any project i'm just i just want to first show you the uh, validation result so basically when you get validation result you will get uh, an error collection and by the way again if you want to know what this uh, will get what this method create project 
create project validation result will give you back of course you, you can use IntelliJ it, it will tell you but uh, if, if you're looking at the documentation uh, here also you will uh, be able to understand what exactly is uh, the return type of these uh, different methods so use these dif different methods and uh, read the documentation if you are not sure how to uh, get started for example here it says this method will return project service dot create project validation result which contains an error collection so if there is an error you will you should be able to catch it and uh, if I maybe just uh, let us run this and see uh, so basically it says project business code uses project key um, and uh, project name with, with that name project with that name already exist so you you have some errors so this is something that you don't want so let us try to create a project so maybe you want to create a project for your H HR team and uh, let us give this a unique key and name and in my code what I'll do oh let, let us first run this and let us see if there is an error or not so there is no error it is blank and that is why I'm using this uh, um, check in my code if there if there are no errors then create the project otherwise display a message that project cannot be created and if I click on the run button let me first save it and uh, let us see what happens so you can see that there is no error and uh, the result is now showing you the project with the key if I go to the project listing here I can also take a look at uh, let me just refresh and show you so there is a new new project called business core HR where uh, you can see the details that we entered in the code like business core HR key with HR and project URL is uh, my own website I'm trying to promote my own website description project type and of course you can do other things if you want um, but uh, do take a look at that page the builder uh, what all things you can uh, do do here and uh, if, if I run the same code again then this time I'll get I should get this return statement with the project cannot be created error not really an error but I'm just making sure that I'm throwing these errors somewhere so you can I mean make sure I mean your code can result if you're trying to do something which is not valid then make sure you're writing a code uh, that can handle it like use either try or catch or uh, if there is an exceptional handling uh, that you want to do that you can do or uh, do some checks using a validation like this for example and uh, it and of course this particular uh, this particular code will create only one project but you can collect everything I mean you can basically make a method out of it and pass those necessary things that you want to pass and maybe execute or bulk create projects and I believe on my channel people have asked me in the past many times how to bulk create projects using a script now for Jira so now you know how to create a bulk how to create projects in bulk and that is all I wanted to talk about and share in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today thank you very much